Blackbusters. What's cracking, family? We are back with another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world. Man, <laughs> we got a day today. Mm hmm. We got a conversation to have, yes, man. Yes, we have a conversation. We time. are doing a, a, a classic film, man. Mm -hmm. And um, before I get started, of course, I'm Big Jaya, your host mm -hmm. and my co-host. I bust the tone moves, Ja. I bust the I tone bust the moves. Stupid tone moves. What? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the tone moves, Ja. So why? <laughs> the, I bust the tone. I moves. I bust the tone moves. My co-host, Mister Bust the Tone Moves. <laughs> man, and, and, and if any of y'all know, nigga, <laughs> nigga, motherfucker, man, oh man, it's crazy. Uh, we are doing fresh. Yeah. Finally doing fresh, y'all. Yeah. We're in the comments. Y'all been asking for it. We're not going to do fresh. We're not going to do fresh. Mm -hmm. We're doing fresh today. Yes. And I'm excited about it because um, it's one of my favorite movies as a young dude growing up. Man, fresh is one of them ones, man. Yeah. How, how, um, did you, how did you feel about watching? First of all, when was the last time you watched fresh? Last time I seen fresh. Honestly, I, I was probably, it was probably about over 10 years ago. Yeah. So probably like it. I was in, in my late 20s. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. 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 So it was a it was a minute ago. It might have been longer than that. Mm -hmm. I might have been fresh out of college or something like that. Right. But uh, as I yeah. rewatched it, I remembered the story. Uh -huh. I don't want to say vaguely, like I knew uh -huh. what was going to happen, but I did not remember specifically right. how the movie played out. Okay. But this time around, there's a scene in this movie that makes this movie so freaking awesome. Okay. That I hadn't connected into okay. this last watch. So okay. as we go through, once we go, once we go past that tripwire, I'll be like, that was the scene. That was the scene. That was the scene that, okay. that made this movie doper than what I remember. Okay. See, all right. So I, the rewatch was interesting for me. Um, but I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. So Fresh, starring Sean Nelson. Yeah. Sean Nelson as Fresh. That's his name, and don't wear it out. Mm -hmm. uh, f some of y'all know him from The Wood. Yep. He's a uh, big Mike mm -hmm. from The Wood. But this is when he was a kid, man. He was a young dude. Sean Nelson was Fresh. That was his only name. That was his only. <laughs> he was Fresh. He didn't have no real name, man. Yeah. He had Fresh. No last name, just fresh. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> we have no clue. <laughs> right. 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 And, um he he did I'm sure this was New York. Hundred percent. Right, of course. You know, um a young boy, he had to be what, 12, 13? Mm -hmm. Maybe eleven, between eleven and thirteen. Yeah. Like uh, like they didn't mention was I, I was trying to mention if he was a freshman. I you know, but they seem young. No, they I was, don't they think was double school. dutching. This they was double school. dutching. They, he was middle the, school. The girl that he was that he was into was yeah. clearly 11, 12. Yeah, yeah. They, they so this middle school. We given to we we given fresh the age of eleven to thirteen. I'm saying twelve really. To Maybe seventh to eighth grade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Middle school. Mm -hmm. So junior high. Uh and he's growing up and he in a household full of cousins. Yeah. And grandmother, a grandmother and an auntie. Yeah. Aunt, Aunt Francis. Mm -hmm. Aunt Francis is the owner of the apartment they live in. Yeah. And he has so many cousins. And um It was a gang up in there. It was a gang of them. A grip. <laughs> it was a grip. It was there. a grip of them. It reminded me of like the ghost face song, like the all that yeah. I you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. The bed, yeah, two from, at the feet, two I, at the head. Used to sleep with John Johnny went to the bed. bed. <laughs> yeah. Is that. Yeah. And uh it was a typical LA and I would say LA, but typical New York mm -hmm. uh upbringing. If you're from the hood, a lot of times you uh and your family's broken up. You're not mm -hmm. living, you're not really raised by your parents, you're raised by a granny. Or auntie, mm -hmm. and that's what I was his case. He was yep. raised by his uh, aunt Francis, mm -hmm. along with several other cousins that had no names. Yeah, um, and they've been and, in group homes, and clearly no personality either. Yeah, oh, they <laughs> yeah. was they <laughs> was know, just surviving. <laughs> they was surviving, happy to be in the they house, was surviving. It shows that. Uh, so it, it, he he navigates through uh, New York. Yeah, and he's a he's a. Uh, He's not even a corner boy yet. He's so young. He's like an errand boy. He's like a... But he's picking up drops. He's he's dropping off stuff. I was trying to think of how, what I would describe him as. Like, yeah. he's like a... Like, I was like, I was like, is Fresh a hustler? But he's right. more than a hustler. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like almost like a... Like a boss, he's like in like a boss apprenticeship. He was doing, yeah, <laughs> right? he was like, doing a little bit of everything. He was doing a little bit of everything. And they established right off the bat that like, this ain't no regular kid. Right. 
Like, right. you know, he's not no, he's got the trust yeah. and the ear and, and the, the respect, respect from, of, the, like, from the from the bosses, from the guys that run the, the bosses. shit. bosses. You know, they established that right off the bat. And it wasn't, at first I was like, man, this dude's too young to be doing this. But I think that was the point. Mm -hmm. He was too young. They even had the older kids, the older youngsters mm -hmm. that was like, Jealous of him, mm -hmm. like the little uh, missing tooth. Yeah, little, little missing tooth. Uh, uh, Herbie. Herbie. Yeah, Herbie. Yeah, um, uh, Herbie uh, didn't like him because he was he was doing he was walking around the city picking up like packages and dropping off stuff and picking up money. Yeah, like, hey, amen. And, and was about the business. About the business. You I owe me. You like at the opening scene where the Puerto Rican grandma yeah. or mom is is. Trying to, you know, telling them about you need to be fucking with my daughter yeah, or my, you my know, granddaughter. my granddaughter. Uh -huh. You need to be with my granddaughter. You know, she needs something uh -huh. like you while she counting out. What was her the, name? Uh, the granddaughter. I, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, her. But while she's Lupe doing that, she counting out, you know what I mean? The, 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 the heroin tabs. And, yeah. he, and he ain't lost count. And right. when and when she think it's done and give him the package, he like, yeah, you short one. Yeah. It's supposed to be 10. It's supposed to be 20. 20, yeah. It's supposed to be 20. Yeah. You short one. You short one. But she was trying to butter him up from the door. Yeah. She, Over the, hey, how you doing, Running okie Oh, my Trying cheat, to keep one of them. Mm -hmm. How you doing? And, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and um, he walked in there. He stared at the older man that's sitting on the couch vegetation, mm -hmm. uh, vegetating. Yep. Um, and then uh, he sat down and she gave him some cookies. And mm -hmm. So she got straight to the point. He's yep. a kid. Let me give him some milk let and some cookies. some sugar. Yeah. Let me, let me, while I try and, to. And he opened up that box and started fucking them cookies up. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's a kid. So he's eating the cookies, drinking the milk, and she's just talking to him, trying to butter him up to, mm -hmm. hey, my, my granddaughter likes you, and she wonder why you don't talk to her, and mm -hmm. this and the other, blah, blah, blah. She's mm -hmm. a good girl. You should. And, and this is a grandmother trying to hook this 11-year-old boy up with her granddaughter. While she running some okie doke on the right. side. Right. And, and, and Fresh knows what she's doing. Yep. Even if we don't. <laughs> yep. Even if we don't. Because at first, it looks like, he, oh, this is a grandmother. He's he about to go pick up mm -hmm. some, um, some stuff to go to school with whatever mm -hmm. and come to find out it's Pax it's Pax dope yep um, and he and he's like hey 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 I, I hear all the all the mm -hmm. hooking me up with your granddaughter and all it's that it's supposed to be 20 it's supposed to be 20 yeah. you know what, I'm <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> right. Let's right and she was like oh you know my eyes I'm so sorry she uh -huh. went back to the counter and picked and picked that one little small yeah. uh, pack to make 20 mm -hmm. and so and they purposely showed you her arm yep she had them bruises on the arm, them scars, them mm -hmm. injection star, scars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let her know oh, she a fiend. She a fiend. That's Damn. why she was trying to slip one. Damn, Nana. Yeah. yeah. I believe that. Man, she on that stuff. But established that, like, Fresh got an yeah. eye. Yeah. He wasn't, it's supposed he, to be he wasn't going for no okie doke. Hey, if Esteban mm -hmm. don't, get what he, don't get all 20, he going to be mad. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, let me go get back and mm -hmm. see. Man. Oh, oh. There's one more left. I'm so old. My eyes, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. You mm -hmm. know, my old age, my old age. Nah, let me get that pack. Let me get that 20. Then he run up in, then he runs up in the, the. I don't know if it's a cookhouse or or, or what, with, with Lucky, homie uh, with the tooth. Herbie. Herbie. Uh -huh. And was like, you in here with the bitches. Yeah. So, the, <laughs> so he, he walk in. Uh, is women is women maybe about five or six women at a mm -hmm. table cooking up mm -hmm. or chopping up mm -hmm. or bagging up whatever, and he walks past them, and it's a dude over there on the scale. Yep, weighing the weight, weighing the dope. You know what I'm saying? And he's instantly talking shit. You what's up, little man, little nigga? Mm -hmm. What's up, man? You over here? I don't know why such and such by Esteban rock with you, man, mm -hmm. and not me, man. You saying you's a punk, man? Mm -hmm. I know why. Cause he up in your sister. That's what he. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Say something else about my sister. Yeah, yeah. Like, I beat your ass, man. I fuck you right up. Mm -hmm. He said, man, say something else about my sister, little dude. Little now, this dude Herbie, <laughs> Herbie about 15, 16. Yeah, maybe even seventeen. Maybe even a little older. Yeah, yeah. Senior maybe even a little older. Right. He might even be a little nineteen. Yep, yep. He could be. You yep. know what I'm saying? So and and her and uh, Fresh is clearly a middle schooler. Yeah, he's key. He's smaller than him. He's mm -hmm. shorter. Mm -hmm. Don't have no hair, facial hair, nothing. Yep. His voice is still high, but. He's, he says, hey, man, you telling all this shit, man. You, you in here with the bitches, You bro. in here with the bitches. Damn. Like, I said, whoa. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. And the women didn't say shit. They, they didn't say just, shit. They bagging up. They, so they, they've established with the two opening scenes. The two opening scenes said a lot. He's a kid, but, but he's moving around. Like, that's a hell of a thing for the a 13-year-old to tell an 18-year-old. Right. He got you in here with the bitches. <laughs> 
Shut up talking to me, bro. Stop talking to me. Yeah, don't even mention my sister, <laughs> Stop bro. Stop talking to me. You don't me. deserve to mention yeah. my sister, bro. Yeah. You ain't here with the bras, bro. But, and the thing is, is, is that, and he's not, like, bombastic with it. He, as a matter of fact. He's just very matter no, of man. fact. Just very, like, and, and that's what, that's what makes him so cold, is the fact that he's so matter of fact. And not like cold is in evil, but just cold is in, like. Stern. 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 And I think that, I think that type of integrity. Everybody saw it. Everybody, he saw it. The, the yeah. kid, Herbie, mm-hmm. he was like, yeah. I wish I had that. I wish it's I had envious. that. If it, the, the women was like, mm-hmm. hey, uh, when he said something about them, they be they, they was quiet. Yep. And he was like, I mean, I got my own little harem, the dude Herbie. He was like, yeah. what you mean I'm in here with the bras? Oh, yeah, I'm in here with the bitches because they all, they all, I'm all, I'm smashing them all. And they was like, hey, boy, you ain't smashing nothing. You ain't smashing shit. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh, we wish you could only hand, He was like, I got my own little full deck of cars mm-hmm. over here, man. Mm-hmm. He says, the only hand you got is your five fingers. Boom. And then, and then he over looking stupid. He was like, yep. So, the cookies and milk was great. Mm-hmm. It let you know, oh, this dude, young boy, he's still a kid. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's about business, but he got it, can't resist the cookies and milk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when it's about business, talking to the older dude, like, bro, you ain't here with the chicks, man. Stop talking to me. Mm-hmm. Bro, just hurry up and bag up this stuff. I need five. Yeah. I need five packs, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Keep my sister out, my, keep my sister name out your mouth and give me them five packs or yep. else. And he out. And he out. Yep. Hurry up, man. I got to get to school. I got to get to he school. He kept saying that. The first two scenes, this is early in the morning. He was like, you ain't, you, why, you ain't, why you ain't got the packs yet? It's, just, yeah. it's 8 o'clock in the morning. He said, yeah. I got to be at school. That's yeah. why I'm here so early. I got to get to school. I got to get to school. I've been late twice this week I'm fucking gonna, with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. So it was a yeah. real interesting dynamic with Fresh. He was a little boy, probably Brooklyn. Yeah. You know Remind me of Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or the Bronx, even. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Spanish people up yeah. in the Bronx. Yeah. Uh, and he Bronx. was just felt yeah, like Bronx, baby. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, both two of his homeboys were Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, it yeah. Was a good mixture of that. So, uh, he he was about his business, and everything was straight. A, I'm, I'm in your eyes. You know, as a mm-hmm. in the street, he's talking to the, the grandmother, both both his elders, yep. even the older dude at the, at the at the cook spot. Mm-hmm. Hey man, I need five. Yeah, everything was very direct Give, in your eyes. Yes, he get to school. His face, his eyes on the ground because he in trouble. Mm-hmm. The teacher is on his head. Yeah. Where, where's your Where's your doctor's note? Where's yeah. your Where's your lace slip? And he's just sitting there. Yeah. Like a little boy. That was really that interesting. Was, that was on purpose. That had to be intentional, man. The dynamic of how he could be so hard in one way and then very much a kid vulnerable. in another way. Vulnerable. Yeah. Right? Like, can't even hold eye contact with, with you know. With, in front of the class. In front, yeah. Embarrassed. Yeah. And then when they're out on the playground, yeah. he's looking at the girl that he likes, and, you know, he yeah. can't even, like, even look at her. Right. And then when he goes and talks to her, it's on that kid stuff. Yeah. Stop looking at me. Yeah. You know. Hey, but was, was that that the most innocent conversation? Yeah. Bro, I loved it. Yeah. So this movie, it, 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 it catches, it caught me. Mm-hmm. Because it's so realistic. Yeah. Like, what do you talk to when you're 11, 12, 13 years old? Mm-hmm. What are you actually saying to a girl? Right. You know what I'm saying? That you like but don't like because you don't want her to know that you like her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you got to say something to her. Your homeboys are teasing you. Oh, man, you like yeah. her, man. You, Oh, man, you're going over there, man. Mm-hmm. Let me see. She got you. Oh, she got a hold of you, man. Right, right, right. And he's over there like, man, man sh- shut up. Shut up. You know yeah, right, right, that's right. it. Like a kid. Mm-hmm. You know, so when he's at school, he's trying his, not trying his best, he is just a kid. He's a kid. I think he's trying his best to be an adult in the streets. It's almost like, okay, so this is a great example. When he when he goes and talks to the girl, uh-huh. his 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 crush, he comes out of very much in a child, you know, situation. Trying so, to be grown. Stop looking at me, yeah. da-da-da. And then That's they have the doing. amount, I'm going to drive a Ferrari Testarossa, da 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 So much a kid. Now let's contrast that with the way he talked to the grown woman fiend. Yeah. The one who was like, I'm trying to get with Esteban. Yeah. And I'm trying to get with Jake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell him I'll let me, I, talk, let me talk to Jake. Yeah. I'll suck his dick. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'll, you know, I I'll I'll fuck you in yeah. the car. And he and he slapped her. Slapped her in the mouth mid yeah. mid bag. Get Get that shit up out of here. I mean, go up there to such and such house. Such and such. I mean, he like to, he like to fuck on little toothless uh, fiends. Man. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Right. So it's like, how is the how is this kid capable of both of these conversations? That's what kind of makes this movie work. Is yeah. is that like him? You would him. it would seem unbelievable 
Like how? But like right. no, like when he's in the it's like when he's on the clock, he's on the clock. Yes. Right? And when he's not on the clock, he's a he's, he's a, a boy. He's a little he's a little he's boy. He's a boy, bro. He's a boy. Yeah. And it's almost like a relief. He don't say much. Mm-hmm. When he's with the kids, when he's with the little, his homeboys, yeah. he don't talk. Yeah. He just sits there and observes. You know what I'm saying? I think he's using up all that bandwidth in the streets, talking to these gangsters and these hustlers and these mm-hmm. dope dealers and these hoes and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And he's on the corner, he's on the block, like uh, like pitching work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They pulled him, what's up, little man? What's, what's the deal for today? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, man, uh, two for two for 10. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. He look over there, look at this little corner, his watch out kid, the watch out dudes, they he he look up in the building, they like, yeah, they give him the nod, mm-hmm. he get up, he go get the work and come yep, back. Yep. Like he's he's moving the way a teenager, grown man is, is moving. The way he was serving the way he was serving the, the, the fiends when they was trying to fuck him up over the math. Yeah. He was like, You trying to you know what I mean? Or let me get five, let me get uh let me let, get five for twenty. He said, Man, five times five twenty five. Yeah, come on. Stop, stop fucking with me, right? Stop playing, and then bro. the other guy, he was like, listen, you know, like I'll sell it to you. You don't like it, come back. I'll give you your money back. But yeah. don't you fucking come around here trying to buy ever again. Yeah. Like he's like serving. And is everything, he's not a bullshit artist. Right. No. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why it works in the streets because there's no leeway with him. Mm-hmm. Even with the woman, like you can saw her, like the fiend, she was working her way up to offer the box, mm-hmm. offer the mouth to, to Jake. She was like, come on, man, just, uh, all right, tell him, Jake, I suck him up real good, man. Just, mm-hmm. let, let me talk to him. He said, mm-hmm. man, Jake ain't going to talk to you right now. Yeah. He, don't want none of, he don't want none of what you got. Mm-hmm. Okay, man, I'll take you in the, in, the, in the car. I'll suck you up real good, too. Mm-hmm. She's a fiend. You can see the face. That scene, to me, yeah. was dope. She, whoever that actress is, is, is amazing. She was great. She did a thing because she, she was great. it wasn't over the top. It looked like she resented, she was kind of reluctant to say it, but mm-hmm. the drugs made her say it. Yeah. She was like, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll fuck you. I, I'll let you fuck me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, get, I'll let you get some yeah. of this good yeah. stuff, baby. Just, yeah. go, just go ahead and let me get, get a couple. After the slap, the acting was so well because it was disappointment in both characters. Man. You could see the disappointment yeah. in her that she even went that far, and you could- you can low key see the disappointment and in him. Fresh that I had to like that ain't him that that I gotta slap you. You know why? Mm-hmm. We find that later on. I feel like why he felt that terrible. You can see it when he slapped her mid bag. Mm-hmm. She looked at him like almost slapping her out of that trance. Yeah, like you were offering sex to a little boy. You probably got a son my age. Right, right. And she looked so ashamed. She looked ashamed, shocked, mm-hmm. and hurt. And he looked ashamed of himself. Mm-hmm. And he look, he he could tell he slapped her. Mm-hmm. So he go go down the block with that bullshit, man. And you, and you could tell, like there, there was a moment, like damn, damn. And then Jake start rolling. Jake, Jake <laughs> is the big. Jake plays the big homie. Yeah, the, he's like a uh, he's a corner boy mm-hmm. with a big mouth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and a temper. And a temper, a, a terrible temper. Hell yeah. Right. So, and Fresh is like his little homie. Mm-hmm. There's a boss, and we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. But Jake is like a a foot soldier, like a lieutenant. Yeah, he's not a not a boss, but mm-hmm. like a little, little, little soldier, little, little lieutenant. He's a lieutenant. Um, and he thought he thought it was funny. Yeah, and it shows you what type of guy he is. Jake is he's like in, on the stoop behind Fresh, mm-hmm. maybe about watching this whole situation, watching this whole thing take place. Yeah, and when he slapped the woman, and the woman walked off, mm-hmm. he thought that was hilarious. He was he was crying. Yeah. Now let's take a beat to to talk about this character, Jake. Um. Mm-hmm. This movie is well acted. This movie is well acted, and where it isn't well acted, it's obvious, right? Right. right. The kids are 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 clunky, yeah. right? Like you know, the 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 kids mm-hmm. are doing the best that they can that they can, mm-hmm. and they're okay, right? And I think their okayness is amazing. Yeah, because you're not supposed to be. You're that not supposed dope. to be that good. They're not supposed to be that yeah. good at 10, 11, 12 years old. Yeah, because nah. even even Fresh is a little clunky as he's an actor. Little, yes. He's he's a little like um like a little amateurish with the lines. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But but his face is great. They probably when he when he uh auditioned for this, they said this guy has a look. This yeah. kid. You know what I'm saying? He's he, got that. He that, says so much just by staring. He exactly. Was, he did he did a lot of this staring you down mm-hmm. and just pondering. You he did a lot of thinking in this film. A lot bro. of pa- a lot of like, yeah, a lot of patience. Staring this, yeah. Yeah. Um, that right there was was dope to me. You know what I mean? Giancarlo was awesome. Sam Jackson on, was man. awesome. Uh, uh, and yeah, Bush Esteban. was awesome. You know, Esteban. all of these 
I liked Corky too, man. Corky was Corky awesome. Corky was doing his thing. Now, Jake is the... He went to okay. Juilliard. Jake went to Juilliard. <laughs> he went to Juilliard. Jake went to Juilliard. Yeah. yeah. And I've never met a such a well-spoken thug exactly. in my yeah. entire exactly. life. I guarantee you Jake has played Othello on stage before. Yes. yes. Uh, he's done that before, yes. for sure. When they talk about actors who say, like, you know, I studied at Juilliard. I went to Cambridge right. yes. for, for, for for acting, uh-huh. and there was nothing out there for me except Thug Number One. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. And I finally got the I finally got a Thug that had a name. His name was Jake. Yeah. I took it. Yeah, I took it because his his gangster is way too polished. Yes, you know what I mean, like too like. Far. To be like very theatrical, very theatrical. I'm going to bust his shit, man. I'm going to bust his shit. This nigga is not paying me. <laughs> this nigga's lying, man. <laughs> Yo, cold, man. This nigga's lying. He's lying, man. I said, ooh, Jake. Fantastic. Jake from, hey, hey, Jake from uh, upstate. Yeah, Jake, Jake from Rochester. Man. Jake from Jake from, <laughs> from Poughkeepsie. Right. <laughs> yeah. I could tell. You could always tell. That the thug is gonna be fake the way he wears his bandana. Yeah, right. Like more like a more like like a pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more like a pirate. Yeah, than the thug. Yeah, man. yeah. Like either 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 they nod it out in front, uh-huh. which is a which is another clear sign that the right. gangster is gonna be fake. Uh-huh. Or they or they pirate to the Caribbean it. And so <laughs> right. they the, so, the Jack Sparrow. The you know Jack Sparrow. This shit. The Jake Sparrow. The Jake Sparrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Jake Sparrow this shit. Again, not a bad actor, but nah. but you could tell like yeah, he's he he was, this role is not him. It is not him. Let me tell you how good of an actor he is mm-hmm. that it works still. Yeah, it, exactly. I noticed I noticed the polished. Mm-hmm. I noticed I know I noticed that the the, the, the little uh wh- not whitewash, but I I noticed that uh the pronunciations. Yeah. And the, the reason why I'll give it to him because his nigga was was solid. Yeah, him saying nigga mm-hmm. didn't sound. It sounded okay. Yeah. It flowed. Yeah, I, okay. So he 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 one of them, but he's still Juilliard. It came all the way around. Like yeah. it's like it's so bad, but you're but you got the passion for the role. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it, you you look the part to uh, a certain extent. Right, right, right. And I can just hear the polish in your language. Uh-huh. Right, like 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 natural colloquial language. Yeah. I don't want to say it's. I don't want to say it's lazy, but it's not crisp. Right. Right? Yeah. And so his his speaking tone and his pronunciation yeah. and enunciation, enunciation yeah. is just too crisp. Yeah, too crisp. Too crisp for the for the for the hood. Right. Right? And for, and, for no, the Bronx, and sure. nobody else that's supposed to be in that environment his boys. was that crisp. Yeah. Like so mm-hmm. so that that's what made it stand out a little okay. bit. All right. I got it. Yeah, we're rolling, but uh-huh. but but like Corky, Esteban, everybody else, man. Herbie, Herbie, Spike, yeah, Spike ended up being the uh, old boy from the Puerto Rican dude from uh, uh, Half Baked. Yep, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, working early, yeah, yeah, leaning on the wall. Yeah, he's such a, he's such a dope actor, and he yeah. had very little lines. He didn't have a line until at the end of the movie, right? And he and he killed it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying he's he one baby. Part- this motherfucker, man, let's get the fuck about it. Yeah, I said, oh, this does he, he legit. Got- yeah, he's super legit. Legit. He's super, you can tell he's from there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know there's, there's, there's an authenticity. Yes, sir. So that's the only thing that, that you know, it's not even like a nitpick. It's just a, an observation that, like. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was, it was, I, I enjoyed Jake. Pause. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it was just more, I noticed. I noticed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you, you're, a little, you're a little too popular, a little too seasoned. There's another thing. This is a, in, this is a, this is a weird hood movie. Yeah. Because this is definitely a hood movie. For sure. But it's written by an Israeli guy. Yeah. Written and directed by an Israeli yeah. guy. And normally that doesn't work. Right? right. Like normally. Shout out to uh, Boz or Boz Yakin. Yeah. Yeah. This movie works sometimes works like an art film. Yes. Like some of the the, the dissolves and the transitions mm-hmm. uh-huh. and the music. Well, let's say this. Mm-hmm. This is Spike Lee written all over it. Yeah. No disrespect. I love the film. This that's why we're doing it, yeah. brother, brother Yakin. But this is this definitely feels Spike. I feel influenced by Spike. Yeah, you know, or at least because Spike was influenced by a lot of uh, artists, mm-hmm. a lot of illustrators, a lot of um, photographers. Yeah, yeah. So 
if not Spike, definitely his Spike's influences was his too. Yeah, at least in some way, the stare down, the the, the zoom ins, the push ins, on just a close the music, mm, the music. Oh yeah, the music, the uh, the, uh, the way they talk. Come here, man. Mm-hmm. Talk to this man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. We gotta go, man. Like yep. the kids, the very very Crooklynish. Very, very you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know very what I'm Crooklynish. Like, yeah. but but, but it worked. Thing. Oh, I loved it. But it worked. Oh yeah, for sure. And. Yeah. I agree with you. It felt like artsy sometimes. Felt artsy. Uh, definitely felt like um, the dialogue, some of the things they were saying. Yeah. Was, I was like, okay, I know it's 94, but even in 94, yeah. I was around then. Yes. They don't really say this like that. They don't say this like you know that. Saying? Right. And it, it came from like, it's, it's almost, I promise you, as I was watching it, I was like, I forgot who wrote, I was like, who wrote this? Mm-hmm. It's probably not a black dude. Yeah. I promise you. I was thinking this is not a black dude they wrote this film. But I think like if I, if I, had like dug into like this guy, like where did he grow up? I mm-hmm. bet he grew up in New York. Yeah, yeah. He was born in New York. Uh huh. Israeli born. Right. His family are are Syrian and, and Egyptian. Uh huh. He attended the Bronx High School of Science. See, I knew it. Right, Bronx yeah. or whatever. Um, yeah. So I think like like this is an example of of somebody that grew up in that. Mm-hmm. Neighborhood and area, yeah, and observed right. and wanted to tell a story, right? You know about the people that he knew. Mm-hmm. So, so to that end, like, yeah, he's from there. He's so, definitely, he's definitely from the culture. Yeah, I, I felt like I didn't told think, a good story about the culture. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And um, the the way he talked is like an Italian young kid, mm-hmm. a Spanish young kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? From the hood, though, I did. I I didn't think it was phony at all. Yeah. I thought that he had the way. Well, Carlo is is this. Yeah, he's he's you don't, you don't he's beastly never, anyway. Yeah, even back then, yes. he was a monster. Oh you know my god! Yeah, so I love I, I love he's I a love, Chico. I love the cadence of of how he talks. Yeah, when he speeds up and he slows yeah. down. And that's and, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like he's he's everywhere with yes, it. Yeah, but so authentic. Authentic as yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. It was great. I, I and. and and to see him in so many other roles that are so opposite of that character, mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. shows you it, it, the beauty of his of his range, man. Pause. Yeah, it's just man, like he he could do it all. Yeah, he could play the, the scummiest yeah. game banger, thug, drug dealer. Was dude. dope then, and it, yeah, super dope. 94. And 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 believable, super believable, believable. And so even at the end of the film, yeah, oh, he did his thing. Yeah, he was great. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like all of like even um. What's the other guy? Corky. Corky. Ron Price or, or yeah. not, not Price, but uh is it uh it was a uh, Ron Bryce. Ron, Ron Bryce. Ron Bryce, Corky. He was he was legit. Yeah. And completely like like the way he flashed on homie like don't be doing shit behind, behind my, my back. back. Right? And he was upset with it. He was he was human. Yes. And he was a gangster. And he, and he was uh, he was, he was being afraid of him is a real thing. Like mm-hmm. I believed him. Yes, he's a dude that you don't fuck with. Yeah, like, but he had, but he had a personality, right? Yeah. And the thing is, is and they were all very endearing. They really loved Fresh. They yeah. really, you know, he was having that conversation. You know, you you too you young. To. Yeah, but you're gonna be the man soon, right? Because soon. because like I said, like 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 Corky paid paid out Fresh, and Fresh was like, it's, it's, it's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred. It's a hundred. You know what I mean? He was like, "Man, I'm doing, I'm be doing lookout stuff for fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. It's a hundred. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's a hundred. And he looked there at his boys like, shit, it's a hundred. Right? It's a hundred, man. It's a hundred. It man, is what it is. You my little G. Yeah, you my little G. <laughs> right. So yeah, you gonna be the man one day. Yeah, and and that and that was, and when we get into the back half of the movie, which I fucking love, yeah. and I can't wait to talk to you about. It's that kind of stand up mm-hmm. integrity that this kid's word is his bond. Right. That allows the caper to go down in such a way where people don't double verify or confirm. Right. It's why whatever comes out of Fresh's mouth is taken as the truth. Yeah. yeah. Because he's got a reputation mm-hmm. for being so stand up when down, integrity. When it comes down to him sp- Really speaking on his word mm-hmm. and standing down on what I said, what yep. I said the truth. Mm-hmm. People believed him because he earned it. Yep, like he, he built that up, and you can see it throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. His integrity, his honor. Uh, so, and that that scene we, we saw with Corky when mm-hmm. he was like, "Nah, man, you ain't gonna short me. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna let you short me." Yes. Also, in another scene with Esteban, 
he he handed him a a, a pack of the, of the tab uh, that that uh, fell yeah, out of his backpack. Uh, uh, yeah, yep. of, the, of the H. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, this got loose in my last run. Yep, and he gave it to him, and the, and Esteban was like, mm-hmm. Esteban knew. Yep, he said, man, you just lost uh Le- you just lost Leon a hundred dollars because because I bet him that you were going to bring it back, and you did, and you did. He didn't think he was going to do it. Yeah. So I'm not gonna let. You, so so right now we know that fresh is not gonna let you short them, mm-hmm. and they're not gonna short you. Right, right. That's integrity at twelve. As what you know Esteban, mean? where Esteban made his mistake, because I want because I and I want to talk about Chucky in a second, mm-hmm. and then I want to kind of get into the caper. Yeah, where Esteban made the mistake is he thought he could disrespect Fresh's sister. Come on, man. That he he didn't he didn't see the through line. That Fresh cares about his sister, right? Like cares right. about his sister, right? And ain't more gonna let you disrespect. About yeah, more than more, and ain't gonna let you disrespect her, right? So before we get into the caper, let's talk about my man Chuck. Come on, man. The dope moves, the yo. dope moves. <laughs> like if if uh, watch the company you keep was a person, yeah, clown. Like, Clown, nigga. clown, clown, bro. How does someone so solid? But then again, someone as solid as Fresh is is best friends with a, a guy like that. It's interesting, like the relationship between. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm making a, a quick jump, but mm-hmm. I think with this sets I think the I know table. Where you're going with it too. I'm talking about the dad and the chessboard, yep. mm-hmm. right? So, you know, Sam, Samuel L. Jackson plays his dad, who's like. I think like obsessed with chess mm-hmm. to the point that that's all he wants to do. Right. Goes down to the park, catches some fish. Right. You know what I mean? Like fish being yeah, like yeah, other, yeah. Chess players, other chess players. Hustles them for that money. Exactly. Goes home, buys his pizza, booze or the beer or whatever. We'll call it hot beer. Yeah. You know, hot beer and does the same thing kind of like every day. Right. And that's his dad. Read the paper. Read the paper. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, like a obviously smart. Very. Obviously brilliant, right? Right, but like choosing to live this to, to underachieve, mm-hmm. and, and 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 as long as you stay by himself and do the same things every day, mm-hmm. he never needs to yeah. have to be accountable for anything other than his he, own self. He just wants to play chess. He he just wants to play chess mm-hmm. and um, have no responsibility, no resp- including his son, including his son. Aside from where they meet, is right. they meet at the chess at, at the park at the park, mm-hmm. right? And so. There's the game that 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 they're playing, mm-hmm. and this is after kind of like all the shit is going on, and Fresh is dealing with some shit. And Sam Jackson, stop where you at right now. Take those pieces back and three he, moves. It, yeah, and then he explains some shit to him. He said, "Your goal is to get my king." Right. He said, "You acting like these pieces. You you playing like you don't want to lose them. Right. These are just pieces. Yeah. These are just a means. A means get of to, getting you to getting get my king. king. Yeah. So yeah. like I so that was so so connect that with the other part where he was like, every time I threaten your queen, you pull her back. Mm-hmm. Right. When I'm playing a guy that loves his queen and can't deal without his mm-hmm. queen, that's you put his queen in jeopardy and his game falls apart. Boom. Those are two essential pieces to the right. caper. So I think Chucky is a piece He's a in, piece. in Fresh's life. He's a piece. He's just a piece in Fresh's mm-hmm. life. And ultimately, I think once Fresh decides that he's going to do what he's going to do, all of them are just pieces. Everybody. Esteban's a piece. Corky's a piece. Yeah. Chucky's a piece. Jake's a piece. Jake's a piece. Everybody Nicole, is just his sister Nick, Nikki's a piece. Everybody's a piece, mm-hmm. right? Um, so I think his relationship with Chucky is born out the fact that hey, he's still a kid, mm-hmm. right? Um, so he still does kid stuff, right? And that's his that's his boy, right? They're all kind of like all his boys a little bit, yeah. you know what I mean? All for the boys. They, yeah. they were walking. They look, cool. It looked like a miniature juice. Yep. You know 100% saying? of miniature yeah. juice. Yeah. 100% of miniature juice. Um, so let me ask you about when do you think Fresh decided to put his mission in play? Um, my little mama got killed. When the, when the, when the girl got killed? Yeah. You think he was like, I got to get the fuck out of here? He, it, 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 it told him, it showed you. He was like, Jake got to go, and Jake ain't going to go easy. Mm-hmm. 
I can't just get rid of Jake. I got to get rid of everybody. I'm done with this life. Yeah. When he was holding her, helping her keep the blood from coming out of her neck, mm -hmm. that didn't work. Obviously, she passed away in, in less than a minute mm -hmm. um, or in a couple minutes. Uh, he was in shock and he was in the precinct. And the, the Lieutenant Perez, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, Officer Perez, Detective yep. Detective Perez mm -hmm. was questioning, like, man, you got to give me something, man. You were the only witness left there. Mm -hmm. He said, man, I didn't see nothing. I just saw the shots. I heard the shots yep. and I saw the people on the ground. Yep. I didn't see who shot who. Mm -hmm. I just heard the shots. And I was trying to help her. And you could tell his face there, he was done. Yep. That's when he was, that was a switch like, I got to do something. Mm -hmm. you know he, he was peeping the scene the entire time at the basketball game. Mm -hmm. He knew Jake was about to flash. Because Chucky was like, let's go over there and hoop. And he had his eyes on that on that court. Yeah. And then, so I think, I think it's when, when, when baby girl got killed, mm -hmm. I also think when the dog end up being vicious. Yeah. When they have when they're at the dog fight. When uh when Chucky uh, they both found this pit bull, right? Mm -hmm. And Chucky was like, I'm about to fight this dog and make some money and get some bread. Mm -hmm. You over here getting bread. You running, you running, uh, you, you running, running with Esteban. Yeah, you making paper, so let me get paper too. Mm -hmm. Unless you're gonna give me a job with Esteban. Yeah. No. Okay, well then I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh what was his name? The dog's name was uh Damn, uh, I gotta get this <laughs> dog. The remember. dog's name was um, um, it was a pit bull. Yeah, I can't. I'm looking for the. I'm looking for the name of the dog. Their dog wins. Uh, they don't call yeah. it out on Wikipedia, but yeah, but we. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember his name. I don't remember his name. But I know he had yeah. one. Because, uh, they, okay. they, they, they wanted to go fight this dog. And he Chucky was, wanted to fight. Chucky the dog. was gonna fight Fresh the dog. Didn't. First, like, no, we're not fighting this. We're not fighting them. We're not fighting them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am, man. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we saw already that there were two different types of kids. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? And the other two homies were just partners on the side. Just regular kids. They were just regular kids. Mm -hmm. But Chucky wanted to be a a, a, a block kid, and and uh, Fresh was already a block kid. Yeah. And the other two boys were just boys. Yeah. You know They're just saying? kids. They was homies. You know what I'm saying? You know, playing, playing with cards. The other Spanish kids dressed nice. He, yeah. He was like a little square. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He knew who he was. The other one, mm -hmm. the other black kid yeah. just fly. Yeah. He was just like... Happy to, he was a goofball. I'm a kid. He's a kid. You Daddy got saying? a good job. He was like, <laughs> man, you, what he say? You mean you ain't got to, where your baseball cards at? He said, man, I ain't bring them. Yeah. Because I always get jacked for my cards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was cool. He was cool. Yeah, I love it. He was cool. And he was, it was so, he was so kiddie. Yeah. They were all kids. They were all kids, right? Um, Making fun of Fresh. Man, look, look, look. Fresh is staring, yeah. staring all in the girl's mouth. She mm -hmm. over there playing double duds, and she looked at him, and he caught. She caught him looking. Yeah, and he went to. He just got bashful, looked away. I thought. Yeah. Keep it in mind that we kind of talked about this being kind of like an art movie. Mm -hmm. This is probably a bridge too far. I'm probably, mm -hmm. you know, doing too much, but I almost kind of felt like, like the dog, was like a metaphor for Fresh himself. Okay, right, because, Fre the dog looks sweet. And yeah. look innocent, right? Mm -hmm. The other dog that they fighting against, he's, he's growling, da 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 da. Saliva salivating yeah. at the mouth. Fresh is <sighs> fresh is wagging his the day dog is wagging his tail and looking the looking, other way, looking around. Dog barking, <laughs> yeah, he's talking, he's looking chilling, the right? So like visually, you think that the dog is about to get that freshest dog is about to get annihilated, yes, demolished. They cut, they him cut him loose, delicious. and freshest the dog wins. Viciously, yes, latches onto that neck. The big, the big dog that's mm -hmm. running his mouth gets mm -hmm. annihilated. Yeah, now he's on the he's on the ground, and uh, Fresh's dog it has a, a lock on yeah. his throat. And I felt like Fresh is like, this is what this place will do to you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make it's he gonna turn me. It's gonna turn me into this. Right. I'm actually, if you just leave me alone, I'm like the dog. I'm a mm -hmm. kid. Right, like I'm a kid looking at girls, mm -hmm. playing cards, you know, coming to their drill team, you know, practicing mm -hmm. dancing. Yeah, but this environment is turning me into this vicious monster, yeah. like this dog. Mm -hmm. Because immediately after the dog wins, that's when he goes to Chucky and Same it's like, man. "I'll not put you on no more. I'm gonna put you on." Yeah, we ain't fighting this dog. We ain't, we're not fighting him no more. Yeah, yes, he is. He just won. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, we got bigger, better things. I'm yep. gonna put you on. You yep. put me on. Yep. So now he switched the game up. He brings him. He brings him to Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this may be my favorite scene in the movie. One of my favorite scenes in the movie. 
He brings him to Esteban. Chucky leans up in the wall, crosses his arm, with one hand on his dick. <laughs> and Fresh was like, what, what are you, you doing? like that, man? What are you doing? <laughs> I know you your whole life. Why are you standing like this? You yeah. never stand. What are you doing? He said, shut up, man. Be quiet. Chucky think he know better than Fresh. Right? Yeah. He think he know better than Fresh. And, and Fresh is like, the fuck are you doing, man? So he walked in. He was like... Hey, who's this? Mm-hmm. This is my boy Chucky, the one I was telling you about. <laughs> right. He sat down and, and sat down in his chair <laughs> with his robe on and said, yeah. "After just... after smashing Fresh's sister, who was strung out." Why did the, the Why did the bodyguards, the lookout niggas, yeah. say he's in the back? Yeah. He go in the room, they in their butt ass naked, they naked and baby oiled. Yeah. <laughs> and she over there faded, faded, slid, lit. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up there and then uh, Esteban stands up butt mm-hmm. naked in the naked. room man mm-hmm. you could have left with that I would have just been in the other room waiting in the first place yeah the fuck yeah. y'all doing right um, <laughs> he comes in there with a robe on asks Chucky why should I put you on man mm-hmm. this nigga said cause I got the dope moves yeah. he said <laughs> what he said what <laughs> he said I got the ill moves yo I got the dope moves I got mad moves yeah. <laughs> that nigga yeah Fresh said <laughs> it was great it was he said why don't you go wait for me in the kitchen wait for nice to meet you Chucky nice to meet you Chucky go wait for in this kitchen man. get you yeah. something to drink so. yeah yeah. Just soda pop right and Fresh was like I know I know he's like I want you to do this shit by yourself man yeah I know man I need somebody to wash my back mm-hmm. he said this ain't no small shit I got yeah. you doing man but Fresh is playing the game right then yeah I don't think I don't think Fresh was intentionally trying to sacrifice no, Chucky. No, but it seemed like that at first. It seemed like he but was. But that's not what he was trying to do. I think what he when, used he used he used uh, Chucky's ignorance mm-hmm. in his favor. He knew Chucky was going to run his mouth to spread the word. He knew Chucky was going to run his mouth, which he was counting on, because he knew that they was going to follow. You know that that Jake yeah. and them was gonna was gonna follow yeah. that that pickup, mm-hmm. right? Like they just couldn't help it, right? Because Chucky talking so much, everybody know they making a the run. Mm-hmm. So, so even like Fresh is looking behind his back. You know what I mean? Because he's like expecting to be jacked right. at any point in time. Right. He goes in. He switches up the shit. You know, Chucky got the got the heat. He like we don't need the heat. I got this under control. I got bro. this. Put this shit down. I, I'm in. I'm in maneuvering. Yes, all this time without heat, bro. I, we, don't we don't need, need the this. heat. He tells Chucky, almost like he he almost says like, when we get jacked, because we about to get jacked any moment. Drop now, the bag and run. Drop the bag and run. Right? Man, ain't nobody gonna jack me. Mm-hmm. Don't stop heat. being stupid. Drop the bag and let's run. Chucky's so stupid. Chucky on the subway with weight in his backpack. Talking shit to the cops. Talking shit to the cops. <laughs> the cops just said, man, sit down, man. Yeah. I was not taking you to the precinct. He said, like, you don't, like. Bruh. Worst. Bruh. Chucky is the dumbest. But believably dumb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But like. And, and Chucky was a, he, he was a typical hood soldier. Yep. He had heart. Yes. He wasn't scared of shit. He was down. But he was too smart for his, he was too, he's so dumb. He, he's literally, it's that saying, um, mm-hmm. you're so smart, you're, you're, you're so, so dumb, you don't know when you, you, you don't know when you don't know nothing. Yeah. You, you know what you know, you know what you don't know. Right. He doesn't know what he doesn't know. He is envious of the world around him. It's like, to your point, he's not soft. Right. Right? But like, he he has ambitions of being the man. Right. The same way he started corralling all them all them kids. You know what yeah. I mean? They following them. Yeah, you know walking mean? all hard yeah. and shit. From here on out, call me Chuck E. e. <laughs> that was uh, that was Spike Lee. Yeah, yeah. He was in the close up. The close the mouth. up on the mouth. Yeah. I'm not Chucky. E. I don't want you to call me Chucky no more, man. I want Chuck you to call me Chuck E. Chuck e. Like Chuck D, but call me Chuck yeah. E. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, son? He's and so the thing is, is is that he's everything that he's the opposite of fresh. Yeah. Right, like he wants you know, everybody to know I'm the man. He talks a lot. Fresh doesn't. Right. He moves loudly. Fresh moves quietly. Quietly, man. Like real G's. Fresh, you know, demands respect. Right. Chucky comes across as a clown. Right. Right. 
Yeah. No, none of nobody was ever gonna put Chucky on. Never. Nobody was gonna Never. ever. They weren't even gonna put Chucky on as, as a corner boy. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing. They wasn't going to have him nowhere we near. cannot the, have this he, guy. He's going to fuck up anything you put him exactly. a part of. Exactly. You make him a part of anything, he mm-hmm. is going to destroy that. And so, like a chess piece, Chucky yeah. becomes fresh as pawn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, I think that, like, when Ch- when Chucky bucked, and instead of running, which is mm-hmm. what Fresh wanted him to do, yeah. when Chucky gets killed, that Fresh did not want that to happen. Right. Right. He didn't set him up to get killed. Chucky's own shit got him yeah. killed. Right. Right? Um, but it was all part of the play. All part of the play. Yeah. And um, the homie, I forget his name. We don't think he ever knew his name. The little square Puerto Rican kid. Yeah. Spanish kid. Mm-hmm. He jumped on He jumped on him. It was your fault. Yeah. You fucking mother. You. Because he knew. I love that scene. Yeah. Because, be- because before that. The little Puerto Rican homie goes to Fresh and he's like, "That's your best friend, nigga. Why you letting them talk? Why you? Why you? Like even even he knew, yo. The, he even he knew the game and knew that That's like, what I'm yeah, like he knew the game and he was like, why? Like you too smart for this, Fresh. Yeah, this ain't your mo. Something's going this on. This ain't how you move. Right. Why you letting him tell him to shut up? Right. Tell him to be quiet. Right. And Fresh's response." Fresh knows that the right answer is You're right, man. You're right. Man. I need to him. tell him to shut up. Instead. And so Fresh's answer is like Mind your business, man. Yeah. He, so Mind so your the, business. So the Puerto Rican homie knows. Yeah. You are doing something. something you, there's ain't something, right, bro. you know, and so You it, know the homie's stupid. Yeah. And you letting him stay you stupid. You know the homie's stupid. You know the homie don't know how to shut the fuck up. Right. But 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 you got him out here like that. The fuck? So yeah, so when Chucky gets killed, right, homie yeah, jumps on him because it's like, you. yo, this is this is one hundred percent your fault. Yeah, it's real, and it, 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 and it is, um, because talking that me- talking that loudly is gonna get you hurt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he he just thought that he could before it got too out of hand that he can handle it. Who fresh? Fresh. He thought he could handle it before I, it got too out of hand. I think hence yeah. the, the hence the run, don't shoot back, get rid of the gun. I think fresh was like. I need I need people to know about this run. I can't be the one broadcasting this run. I'm going to just basically use Chucky mm-hmm. to talk about it. We going to get jacked and that's okay cuz the plan is to get jacked so that they get they can find out oh they can get the bag with with um with the uh, the, the with, heroin. with the heroin. Uh-huh. Right? Like you know yeah. or or was it or was it base? Because Esteban was moving heroin, not bass, right? right? And then when they opened the bag, when when Corky and them opened the bag, it was like, fuck, Esteban trying to move bass. Right. That's what it was. Yeah. It wasn't heroin. So that's why he needed to switch up. But it wasn't his bass. Right. It it wasn't his, because Corky had, was doing, he had cocaine. Yeah. And so he was like, nah, this ain't my shit. Mm -hmm. This is something else. Right, 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 right. And you ready for Esteban? Esteban is doing this. Yeah, this is too close to what I'm doing. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? And then that's when that's when Fresh gets to see. Yeah, he want to live like you, right? Like you know, mm-hmm. you know, he he's small time. Like you know, he that's so he wanted to do da 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 da, making making the dope. Move. But it wasn't. But I wasn't running base for Esteban. I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm running base for Jake. Set Jake up. So Jake, we we got to talk about that scene real quick. Jake yeah. on the basketball court. Jake is getting smashed. Uh, pause. He's mm-hmm. getting he's getting killed by this yeah. little kid who's super nice. Little host, Marbury. Little Marbury. The city. Yeah. He's about thirteen years old. Serving and grown men and twenty two can't can't handle him. Mm-hmm. He's a phenom. He he didn't miss in the gym. He didn't miss on the outside court. And he humble about it. Yep. He humble about it. Mm-hmm. Jake's a hoe. So mm-hmm. Jake is getting embarrassed. He's finally he finally tries to stick him. Pause and and, mm-hmm. and he can't. Mm-hmm. And dude. Uh, 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 shakes him. Yep. So he and wants him. him. And wants him. He grab. He, he gets mad, embarrassed. He go grabs a gun and just shoots the kid. Yeah. In broad daylight, all the kids run, mm-hmm. and he shoot. He he's shooting in this direction two or three times. Yeah. Bom, 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 bom. Everybody runs. He's like, yeah, y'all tell anybody. I'm gonna kill everybody in this bitch. Don't tell nothing. Mm-hmm. So now everybody know. Don't say shit because Jake is out here. Yep. And so in the crossfire, not the crossfire because only one person was shooting, mm-hmm. but in the process of shooting this kid that plays this basketball phenom, yeah. 
the girl that likes fresh is coming across the court to mm-hmm. talk to him, mm-hmm. and she gets hit too. Yep. And that that that's really what happened. Yep. That, that that threw him like okay, this is something, and that that death is real. Yeah. It, two innocent kids just died in front of me. That could easily mm-hmm. be me. He, I got to do something different. He cared. That's when he changed. He cared for two people. Mm-hmm. He cared for that girl, and he cared for his sister. His sister. Right. Now, Nikki, real quick. Mm-hmm. Now, a quick scene. When we first saw Nikki, she was at Aunt, uh, Aunt Francis' house getting mm-hmm. a couple clothes so she can leave. Mm-hmm. Aunt Francis is the auntie that loves everybody. She's probably the goody, the, the, yeah. the youngest sister the youngest of sister. all the siblings mm-hmm. because she had like 11 or 12, 13 nieces and nephews. Mm-hmm. And she was like, well, they all going to stay with me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, I ain't going gonna, gonna to get them out the home. Yep. You know, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, care. I'll come down to to the to the county mm-hmm. and fill out the paperwork to to get them with me. Yeah, they can stay with me. Right. So when Fresh came home in the first couple of scenes in the movie, no one spoke to him. Yeah, I I, I thought that was weird. I said, "Damn, I don't love this nigga." Mm-hmm. What happened? Mm-hmm. And now I realize, oh, he's the bad apple. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why I, I gathered. And there was one scene in the mm-hmm. film that kind of threw me off out of nowhere. It just came out of nowhere. Like, like they must have cut a couple of scenes around it, which is why they really kind of stood out as odd. Mm-hmm. When his cousin woke him up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Randomly. Right. I, I was like, he just had a he he had a decent conversation with his auntie. Mm-hmm. When she was trying to ask him to kind of talk your big sister in the stand. Into staying with us. And he did and, and she didn't want to hear it. Yep. The sister didn't want to hear it. The next scene was him in the bed and mm-hmm. his cousin woke him up, like, why you come home so late? Yeah. He didn't come home late. He came home cool. But or, or did he? I, I don't know. I mean, it was it was obviously, obviously fresh. Supposed to maybe go to school and come straight home, right? And fresh out there serving and slapping fiends, yeah, and making moves. You know what right. I mean? But turn, also turning down dick sucks. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, turning down <laughs> fiend ass. Um, but she was like, "Listen, don't fuck this up for us. If you mess this up for us, and she kick all of us out, mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill you." Yep. I love you. Are you my cousin? Are we all cousins, man? Mm-hmm. But if you mess this up, yeah. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. And she said it so endearingly. Like, she wasn't mad at him. She Don't was fuck like, this hey, up man. for us. Hey, Fresh, get up. Yeah. Bro, you coming home late? I'm, I'm, I'm friends. Don't like that. Yeah. Don't get her mad. I don't want her to tell you. I don't want her to take it out on the rest of us. Because if you make us, you make her make us leave, mm-hmm. I'm going to kill you. Man. She said, like, we. I'm not trying to go back to the group home. Nah. I'm no. not trying to go back. And that to was that. such a strong scene. It was weird to me. Yeah. I was like, I was, I'm gonna talk about this in the podcast because mm-hmm. they came out of nowhere, but it was necessary. Yeah, it showed you why they why they was quiet when he came around. Yeah, they didn't want him there. They loved him. They did. Uh, I think both him and his sister is the is the bad apples. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So like they they not gonna say nothing because because she here and they both here. Mm-hmm. Like the, the the two black sheep of the family yeah. are both here at so, the same time. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, shout out to my sister. I love you, Jari, mm-hmm. aka JJ, yeah. Chelsea. <laughs> I when I got to middle school, and my last name is Pickett. Mm-hmm. My last name is very unique. There ain't too many Picketts around. Right, it's the Johnsons, Jacksons, Jenkins, Browns, and Greens and Smiths. Mm-hmm. Ain't too many Picketts. Right, so I get to class. Um. For the first, my first day, mm-hmm. and she was like, uh, "Jade Pickett." That was like present. Mm-hmm. Jade Pickett. My sister's name is Jiree Pickett, mm-hmm. and she says, Are "You, you have a sister named Jiree?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "That's my big sister." It was like she was like, "Okay," and she treated me differently after that. Yeah, a few teachers at my school was like my mom, at the middle school I went to, mm-hmm. and um, cause my sister was there two years before. Isn't that crazy? And she was like the Pickets. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so now they. So now obviously I had a little issue too in school. Mm-hmm. I was a class clown. Mm-hmm. I was goofy. So she's yeah. like, "Oh, you just like your sister." Yeah. So you, you, you're just nicer because my sister was me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so when he walked into that room, why y'all, why y'all, why y'all looking at me like this? Because yeah. your sister here. Because your sister. And now y'all both here. Y'all, y'all come from the same cloth. Hey man, like it, <clears throat> when when there's family members. That have either that reputation, mm-hmm. like you know, like they were, like you know, you remember playing around, cookout cousins, yeah. everything is all good, until them two show up. Yeah, because when them two show up, they be the ones to be having people fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or the ones that's gonna hurt you, incite something. Yeah. yeah, by putting you into you know full Nelson. Uh-huh. They're the ones that want to play mercy. Yeah, right. Like you know, like they just mm-hmm. they bring a certain energy, mm-hmm. and you like, man, Mercy. like like everybody's having fun. They want to play knuckles, right? right? Like they want knuckles. They want to play Bloody differently knuckles. than everybody else, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Um. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, I think that's what, and they know what Fresh does. They have to know, of course. Everybody knows. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That that 
how fresh be moving. Maybe maybe the auntie don't know. Yeah. Obviously, she don't know. <clears throat> right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but at the same time, the auntie was like, you know, I can't have you here. Right. I can't have this. Not if you're gonna be doing. Yeah. Not if you're gonna be doing this. So you gotta right. go. Um. So, so so let's get to the kind of like. The final parts. Yeah. Fresh sets everybody up. He plays chess. The last part he of the plays movie. plays chess. He, he, he plays a masterful game of chess. Yes. That's, yes. that's life threatening. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Serious consequences. Yeah, it's not a game. If he don't get it right. Right. Him and his sister can go. Mm-hmm. He used his sister as a pawn as well. He used but a, she was the queen. Yeah. She, he protected his queen, but he put her out there a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Esteban thought he had to go over there and make up. Yeah. And, and, and question her about where you've been. You know he had saying? to. He had to. So, what was the what was the name of the guy that that the hustler at the store? Uh, James. James had to go because James had a hold over his sister. Yeah, or had potential to have a hold over his sister. Right. So he got to go. Mm-hmm. Esteban got to go. Disrespectful because you disrespected my mm-hmm. sister and you trying to control her too. Right. Right. So you, you love go. me. Yeah. But you love her in some odd way. Yeah, some weird way. And you want right to and you want to have her. <clears throat> you want to possess her. Yeah. Right. Um, Jake gotta go because Jake gotta gotta right. go. We need, you know. Jake gotta go. And Corky was just a piece. I'm like, damn, why Cor- Cor- Corky was a street dude. He was a street but dude. But he had he had his back. I feel like they could have won together. I, but it goes back to what dude, that's gonna end up finding out that yeah. he was lying about Jake. Mm-hmm. He's it's gonna find out even if even if, if Fresh is twenty years old, it's seven years later. Yeah, Fresh is twenty, and Corky gonna find out. Man, you lied to me. You played me. Mm-hmm. Ten to seven years ago, you played me. You yeah. lied to me about Jake. Yeah, you had me kill Jake and the, and the, and the other little homie. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, it would have came out. And in some respects, so so I have two thoughts on that. Mm-hmm. Even if Corky survives, I think the relationship between Fresh and Corky is over, mm-hmm. because regardless, <sighs> Fresh lied. He lied. He lied. Yeah. Right? Like, you know. So, a, a, as solid as he is, mm-hmm. he's capable of lying. And that changes yeah. the whole dynamic. Mm-hmm. But I think Corky had to go, echoing back to his daddy's speech about the chess pieces and going, like, don't fall in love with none of these pieces. That was, that, that scene is so, yeah. don't, don't, that scene is so great. You have to use them, use them all. Her, uh, Chucky. Use them all. Corky. To get to Esteban. the king. Your goal is to get to the king. Yeah. So in this particular instance, Fresh's goal is to get him and his sister out, out the projects. Out the projects. So all of these people are all pieces. And Corky, which he did not have no beef with, was a was a means to the end. Right. He had Man. to sacrifice Corky yeah. the same way you sacrifice a chess piece mm-hmm. to try to win. Yeah. That's 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 you know, Chucky was the unintended sacri- sacrifice. Yeah. Corky was just a sacrifice. It was just you. Sorry, I, I need this to happen yeah. in order to get up out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he 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 didn't really do nothing wrong, yeah, other than sell drugs. Yeah, Corky. But when it came to mm-hmm. when it came to um, uh, fresh. Yeah, he was grooming them. Corky never said nothing disrespectful about. He wasn't trying to get at Nicole, he wasn't, which wasn't, I get. Wasn't trying to smash Nicole her sister. Was bad. Let me yeah. let me speak. Let me speak on her you know again. How we feel about Embusha? Embusha, man. Embusha, right? Embusha, yeah. right? Embusha. Yeah, I like that. I want some Embusha. My God, <laughs> she. Yeah, and they and the way they talked her up. Mm-hmm. No makeup on, but had, she had thick eyebrow. I mean, she was she was crazy and had seven she lines was, in the whole movie, and, and she killed them all. Killed them all. Facial expressions, Facial energy, expressions, body language. Did it? She murdered. Facial you know expressions. The, the, in the same way, when when the when the cop showed up at the end and and she was like, "This nigga lying to y'all." Right. That ew. and she was like, "Mm-hmm." I know what this nigga doing. Nah, yeah. he's straight up lying to y'all. This nigga lying to y'all. Right. Right. Like not even on his side. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until she realized that he had done all of this for her. <laughs> And she never even said anything. She didn't say nothing. But her face, as that's soon what as I'm saying, as soon as she, she realized, as soon as he was like, "And my sister," he says, "If, if I'm gonna do this, mm-hmm. you gotta make sure my sister comes too." Yeah. And, and then she that turned look. around was like, "Because man, come on, bro." Mm-hmm. He said that scene when he was like, "Why don't you go mess with Esteban?" Then he got good heroin too. Yeah. She was like, "But I don't like the way he looks at me." Yep. He looks at me like I'm like I'm some queen, some mm-hmm. prince, some prize. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm nothing. 
Court and James treat me like I'm nothing. So mm-hmm. that's why I rock with him because he treat me the way I feel. Yeah. The way he like, but you're not not nothing. Mm-hmm. He says, she was like, um, she says, Miss Uh, she's like, I'm, I'm Francis. Mm-hmm. Thinks you something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Francis is a saint. Yeah. She don't count. She think everybody got good in them. Mm-hmm. So that that she, this dialogue she, was great. Yeah, she love everybody. She love everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't be, I can't let nobody that love everybody like see something in me. It I ain't it ain't genuine. Yeah. I love you. I love you. That, that fucked me up, bro. Man. Yeah, man. Man. The the only time he ever expressed, expressed something like that. Any kind of feeling, yeah. emotion. He, even the girl he liked, he couldn't tell her. Even his dad. Like when his, his dad, dad tried to tried to dad him, he, he was like, man, you ain't been around. You ain't been around. You're my daddy, bro. I don't say what the fuck I want yeah. to say. And then looked at him. And looked at him. And his dad didn't have nothing to say. Like, come on, don't come. You ain't been around. Yeah, stop that. Don't tell me what what to I ain't say. Even, I ain't even seeing you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, psh. but when it came to his sister, that's that. I love you. Taking care man, of his sister. Her up. Taking care of his sister, you know what I'm man. Saying? Um, and then after it all goes down, he goes it's... to link up with pops at the oh, yeah. at the um. At the park. At the park. And his dad is, you know, I've been Pissed waiting an off. hour. You know what I mean? I don't let two fish go by without such and such. So, and you, such. so you got me two two dollars of poor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What you got to say about that, man? Yeah. You, you, you got to be on time. A, a real man mm-hmm. be on time. He's just yeah. venting. He's just yeah. running off at the mouth, not paying attention. And then them tears drop. Man. What do you think is the man. significance of them tears dropping? What was that I know all exactly, about? Bro, this is, I've been holding this in. For, for months or all my life. Mm-hmm. He never, he's never, even when the friend died, when the girl got killed, mm-hmm. um, even when he, when, when uh, uh, her, uh, Chucky, who we really did love, mm-hmm. got killed, stupid as hell, but yeah. he died, he got yeah. killed, all this death around him. When and, Jake got beat the fuck down. Yeah. When, when, when he saw his sister strung out on the bed, like, mm-hmm. he just is emotionless, stoic. Yeah. No, per- no, no response, no emotional mm-hmm. response. He 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 swallowed all that. Yeah. He boiled over, bro. Yeah. He boiled over, and his father, he said, "You just a little boy. He said, mm-hmm. You can't. You, you over him. If you're gonna be a little boy, stay away from me. Mm-hmm. I need you to be a man. If you're gonna be over here, be on time, be mm-hmm. punctual." He don't have no. He has no clue what yeah. type of man shit his yeah. son was doing. I'm still a kid. It's all said and done. I'm a boy. Yeah. And he finally won the chess game. Yeah. He finally won the chess game, and it was not bittersweet. It was just bitter. Yeah. And they, it was, it's almost like them tears was escaping. Yeah. Like, like. He was trying to hold him in. He was trying to hold him in. But it's breathing just, heavy, almost, almost yeah. hyperventilating. Yeah. Like, and his father knew. His father was like, this boy got the world on his shoulders, yes. man. Yeah. And unbeknownst to me. Yeah. But I, I this is, it's, 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 I'm reading, I'm reading it on my son's face. He can barely release. Like, he can, you know what I mean? Like, it was, God. It, and, and then I was like. Again, like this movie is is as straightforward as it is. There's a lot of little like side things, and mm. you know. And again, I don't want to be looking too far, but it, and it almost was kind of like I didn't feel like it, but I was just like, was he like, Daddy? You should have been protecting me, yeah, and protecting us it, from all of this. I think there was no dialogue, mm. and that was the last scene of the film to for, to leave up to our own interpretation. Yeah, like what you think it meant. I think it meant all of that. I think yeah. I think I think it was. I think it's what you said. What you yeah. Is, Look at what I've been holding in. You know what I mean? Like, look at mm. all this shit fucking around me that I've had to do. The stuff that he did in this film, he should have. He shouldn't have to do any of it. Right. You're supposed to be able to come home to your dad. My dad. This is what I'm. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm up against. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your son is out here selling drugs. You talking about a chess game? Yeah. Your son is out here getting shot at. You talking about a chess game? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was all by himself. All by himself. Mm-hmm. His sister couldn't love him the way. She he needed to be loved. She strung out. Where's his mom at? We don't even know. We don't his even mom. know where I his got mom a theory, at. Because I know we about to end this thing. I mm-hmm. got a theory. Fresh, his real name is Mike. Hmm. And protective custody, they moved him to North Carolina first, where mm-hmm. his mom lived. Ooh. And then, and Busha went mm-hmm. off to college, got mm-hmm. her sister together, and she went on and did her thing. Mm-hmm. And mom got a new job in Inglewood, California. <laughs> Multiverse <laughs> and took Mike to Inglewood. Mike, he he dropped that movie. He yep. dropped fresh. Yep. 
He dropped fresh in in New York and became Mike Mo- baby Mike, and then mom sent him out and bitch, her and her little baby boy. Hella, hella. Moved to, moved to, uh-huh. Hella multiverse right Multi- there. Yeah. Hella multiverse. And, and Mike and, and ended up in trouble out there. Yeah. Because, but he smoothed it out. He had, yeah. the homies. He, had the, he had better friends around him. Because he could finally be a kid. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he, he could finally, mm-hmm. you know, he could finally relax a little bit. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, okay. Let's get into some awards. Mm-hmm. Who's the MVP? MVP is for sure fresh. It's got to be fresh. Yeah. I mean, like, you could make an argument for his dad. Uh, okay. All right. Because he taught him the game of life. Yes. Through that chessboard. Yes. That chessboard. I don't, I don't think Fresh learn whatever. This is what's really interesting. Whoever Fresh is, the thirteen year old we see, yeah. is a byproduct of the molding of his daddy. Really, really, because even though he didn't have the nurturing of his father, mm-hmm. he had the seriousness. He had to man think. Matter of yeah. fact, I take these board to take these last three, three mm-hmm. these last three moves back mm-hmm. and do it again. Yeah, pay attention. Pay son. attention. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like this watch. Ain't, don't just move. This, Look. This ain't this is this ain't chess. I mean, this ain't checkers. Yeah. This is this is chess. Chess. Right? When he when he when he says, you know, you just out here surviving. Right. Just, you know, right. as long as you ain't drowning, you okay. okay. Right? Nah. Like, so an argument could be made that like his dad gave him the game. Yeah. Taught him chess. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have been capable of getting himself yeah. and his sister out if he hadn't spent all of those years learning how learning to how stop, to play chess, watch re- and react, yeah. and, and think, plan, mm-hmm. yeah, strategize. Yeah, but I think he, I think Fresh is still the MVP, right? Because nobody else could have seen the board the way he did. The way he did, right? His daddy wouldn't have been able to. Right. The only person that could do all of these different things. It was him. Yes, sir. I mean, and and he was and he had the bread stacked. It almost argue if stacked. like this was his plan all along. Mm-hmm. Because aside, you know, aside from that little beat where he talks about the cars he's gonna buy, and he does have that like one day, like one, one day, day I'm gonna, gonna get a millionaire. Someday. Yeah. Yeah. But he knew about longevity and the delayed gratification. Yeah. yeah. He had because he had all of that bread saved. So it almost like if you really want to have fun with it, you'd be like, yep. Like he got into the game to save him and his sister. Yeah. Right? Like this plan, I'm only selling drugs because one day I'm gonna use this money to get me and my sister out the projects. That you know, mm-hmm. there there could be an argument there mm-hmm. because Fresh is frugal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like his homeboy Chucky was like, Man, you got I know you got a money somewhere. You say mm-hmm. all the money you run you running you mm-hmm. running for Esteban yeah. and Corky, man. I know you got bread. Why you dress so bummy? You yep. so regular. Yep, yep. The 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 only thing that we see him buy is a candy bar. The Milky Way's. Yep, he had the candy bar. Mm-hmm. And it was sitting on the, sitting on the train track. You need those. Um, who's the LVP? <sighs> Not Chucky. He he needed. He needed to, he's yeah. very important. Chucky was yeah. very. He, if he didn't play he a role, he'd be the LVP. He probably the yeah, 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 yeah. If he didn't play a role, <laughs> he didn't play a role. He used he he uh, mm-hmm. uh, fresh used his insignificance mm-hmm. to to for for good. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, absolutely. I think the LVP could be. Esteban's henchman, homie, yes. homie that was behind uh, that was behind the table doing the count. Yes, because he didn't get the count straight, right? Like you know, so a like he was short, he was short a tab, and then got murked at the at the first you time to, to put in action. You talking about Chili? Chili, yeah, Chili, goofy ass. You had the twelve <laughs> gauge, nigga. Right? How you don't have to hop out the front of the, the bodega and stand over him, and you got killed too. Shoot him from over there, bro. How do you? How do you have a drop on somebody? Let somebody come out the store, already shot up and done, and 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 get you blasted. Be, you walk into killing, and getting killed too. Yeah, yeah. If you don't shoot, you, he was gonna bleed out. Mm-hmm. He could. He was trying to get away. Yeah. Let him bleed out, bro. He, he was, he was, to me, he was the weak link. Yeah. Of, because even, because even Jake wasn't a weak link of the organization. Nah. Right? Like. He kind of was. Remember, he, he he made the streets hot for Corky. This is like, true. Kill, kill him, but I give him This is saying. true, right? He was a dumb soldier. He was a dumb. But he, but he was, yeah. But he wasn't a weak link. Yeah. Right? True, true, true. Chili, and you know. And he wasn't, the, and he wasn't, he was loyal. 
Yes. He said, man, I've been working for you. We've been working for you for three years. Yeah. Even the homie was like, bro, I've been with Jake. I've been with Jake. Mm-hmm. Jake is a lot of shit. He he a hothead. Mm-hmm. He a shooter. He a killer. Mm-hmm. But he not he not a disloyal motherfucker, yeah. bro. I've been with this nigga all the time. I've never seen no shit like that. He vouched for the nigga and got fucked up too, homie. But you know what? That was homie spoke up. He was yeah. He yeah. Was like I, like, I don't bullshit, I don't man. know what the fuck. He said he said, <laughs> he said it's the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes. He said, "Hey, yeah, yo, this is, yeah, yeah." He had the gun on him. He was like, "Bro, this is the crazy shit I heard in my life." Man, Jake never saw it coming. Jake was, Jake was leading up. He said, "What the fuck? Are you are you, <laughs> you motherfucker?" <laughs> Jake had no clue. That was so funny. Jake never saw it coming. He this never saw it coming. Hey, real quick. Yeah, oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I, gotta, I know we got to get about it. Um. What the fuck? Um, yeah, so for me, Chili is, is is the LVP. Okay, I like it. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of anybody else or uh, James. Which one is James? James oh, is the pimp. Yeah, James is easy. But James, like, like to me, like James, James is, need, needed to be there to make Esteban jealous. Yeah, so he need. Yes. So he is. You're right. So he's not the LVP. Yes, Chili, Chili. Uh, Chili was a weakling because the dude that walked Jake, that walked Esteban up into the project to go mm-hmm. see Nikki, yeah. he was solid. Yeah, he's like, bro, you should go home. We just killed some niggas. We just mm-hmm. hit, a, we just hit, uh, hit a hit a mission. Mm-hmm. Hey, so let's just go home and lay low. Nah, I think I'm about to go see my chick, man, and mm-hmm. make up with her. Yeah, all right, but let me at least walk you to the door, bro. Yep, he yep. walked him to the door, solid. came home, smoked a cigarette, came downstairs and left. Solid. Yeah. Yep. yep. So yeah, Chili. Yeah, Chili. Um, overacting award. Overacting award will go to uh, um, Chucky. It's got to go to Chucky. Yeah, the mad moves, son. The <laughs> mad moves. I got the ill moves. I got to bust all the biggest moves. I want to know where the, I want to know where Chucky is today. Like, yeah. the, like the guy that played Chucky. Yeah, Chucky man. It was a brilliant casting. Oh yeah, he was he was a great Chucky. He was a great. He was Chucky. An amazing Chucky, bro. Uh yeah man you talking about uh, Luis um Lantigua I man I I man I hope he's having a good life yeah me too he played that role so well yes like so Chuck, authentic I know him I promise you Chucky is so dumb uh huh <laughs> but so believable yes. and, and if and if Chucky if if the actor doesn't play Chucky like that it's not as effective it's not as effective nah it's not as effective. Mm-hmm. He did such a great job. He overacted his ass off. He said, even even when his he like, bro, we you supposed to be my. I thought you was my friend. Mm-hmm. Friend don't talk to people like that. Yeah, you, you embarrassed me in front of the people, man. Mm-hmm. Like Chucky was so stupid, but yeah. he was like, yeah. it took him a minute to be like, you know what, fuck you, I ain't gonna talk to you no more, man. Yeah, you ain't my nigga no more. Yeah, that's what you know what <laughs> that's what he was saying. He, <laughs> in Chucky's world, yeah, fresh. Why you treat me so bad, bro? Yeah. I'm, put me on with your people. Yes. Let's run this together and yeah. take over, man. He had two straps. I got the straps. I got two guns. You, one for you, one for me. Let's yeah. take over, son. I got the straps. And, and, and he like, he could understand why yeah. Fresh was like, no, get rid of the gun. Yeah. No, nigga. No, we, we out here for this. For, yeah. I got your back. He had his back. Mm-hmm. He's a man to me. He said, shout if somebody if somebody come. Yeah. Fuck shout, nigga. I'm a blast they ass. Right, right. Chucky was the dumbest. So he was Tommy. Yeah, he he's, was Tommy he's that grew Tommy. up to be Tommy from the power. He's power. he's Rico. He's Rico, right? But Rico was disloyal. Rico was disloyal. And, but but initially he was a he was a higher he was a strong soldier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he and he was a strong soldier that that played this position for a, a while. Yeah, but uh, I don't think Chucky would have. I mean, I think I think in Chucky's mind he was always better than Fresh. Yeah. He thought like I'm better. You on? Why you ain't putting me on? Yeah, I I'm better than you. Yeah, I know better than you. Right. I know more than you. Mm-hmm. I'm smarter than you. And Chucky's mind because because Chucky only understands bombast. Yeah, he only knows peacocking. Yeah, and fresh not peacocking. Yeah, so you're not fresh. So you, you don't. don't you're not dressing fresh. So you must not know shit. You ain't got no strap. You don't know. You don't. You're not busting no dope moves. Yeah, you went with Esteban. But you're not busting the dope moves. Yeah. I got the dope moves. I got the dope moves. I got the you stupid cool, dope moves. But I got the stupid dope moves. I got moves. the stupid dope moves. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's all said and done, bro, Yeah, I got to say this before we leave. Uh-huh. Fresh, I love you, man. Man, I would have hung with you. I would have hung with Fresh for sure in high mm-hmm. school and college. I mean, middle school college. Mm-hmm. Um, Fresh, at the end of the day, was a snitch. 
Yes. Damn, Fresh. Yes. Fresh was a snitch, man. Mm -hmm. Damn. He Fresh. Fresh. He became an informant. Yes. Protective custody. But it was almost like like for the greater good. Yeah. Yeah. Like like in this particular instance, it's like it's about my sister. This might be the only time I watched a movie when I was like, "Fuck it, he, he snitched." So yeah. What? So what? And 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 what he needed to. And not only damn. Cause you, cause you bringing out some shit. I know, shit. I know. It's almost like not only is Fresh a snitch, <laughs> but he's disloyal, man. Yeah, he's heartless, man. Right, right. Damn. Yeah. He like he has bad traits. When I promise you, I watched it. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Fresh is snitching. When the cops came in, he was like, right before y'all came in, he threw it under the bed. Yeah. Esteban was like, bro, mm -hmm. okay, I'm, I might be a lot of things cheating on my wife, okay? Yeah. I'm fucking your sister and this and keep keeping her doped up. Yeah. But, bro, I was showing you the way mm -hmm. and I had your back. I had even your back. After, even, after, even after busting the mission, mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, make sure my little man get home. Yeah. Yep. Then you get dumped the guns, then dump the whip. Mm -hmm. But make sure he get, he, he had his back. Esteban almost looked a little like like God when Jay Reed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jay Reed, you ain't no cop, Jay Reed. Yeah. He, the way he Jay. looked, he was... He was incensed. He said, bro, when he, when they pulled the gun up, he was like, what? Yeah. And they pulled the first uh, the first key of Coke. Mm -hmm. He was like, then he pulled two more keys. He said, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He lost it. Yeah. He said, get the fuck out of here. What is happening? I can't. That is not my shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, high dope. That, that's that's Nick, Nicky's spot for her. He don't got no dope there. I don't know And guns. that's, you know. And that's, that's a safe haven. That's why, like. Whenever Fresh speaks, it almost like gets everybody attention. Everyone stops and listens. Because he doesn't talk that much. Right. So when he goes, she's scared. She said. Everybody was like, the fuck? But he had his he had a story. She only saying that because she's scared. If it wasn't for the fact, like, because also Fresh is sadistic. <laughs> Right, right. He like, hung the dog. He hung up. the dog. I said, bro, why are you killing why the you, dog, man? Why are you killing the dog? Well, let him go. Why are you killing the dog? You wanted to protect him at first, yeah, from the fighting. Is it, I'm like, is it a metaphor? Is he killing his innocence? I think so. You know, like something. But he, he but hangs why the hang dog. the nigga though? Hang the nigga and, and then, then walk then, off for a minute and then blast him. Yeah, shot the dog, blew his whole shit off. Double killed the dog. Double killed the dog. Doesn't make any how sense. You, how you shoot a kid? How you shoot a dog? Well, uh, well, damn it, was that a 38 damn Yeah. There? And he already getting hung. Yeah. He already dying. <sighs> Why hang him? Damn, bro. Yeah. So Fresh, even though, like, even though he gets his sister out the game, Fresh is fucking sadistic. So Fresh, if Fresh, if Fresh, is not, if Fresh is not Big Mike in the Wood, yeah. another reason why I think he is, mm -hmm. remember, they had, remember the bet? Yeah. You remember the bet? Mm -hmm. I remember in the Wood? Yeah. He had in the alleyway, mm -hmm. and, and there was a jar of bread they were saving. That's fresh, bro. And if that's not him, mm -hmm. that nigga's a, 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 a psychopath. A serial killer. A serial killer. A serial killer. He might be killer. like a Dexter, though. Yeah. He's going to be like a Dexter. Yeah. Like, yeah, saying. Killing old, killing, going in city to city, killing gangsters. Man. Drug dealers. Because he's got some serial killer tendencies. Mm -hmm. Like, the way, he, the way he would be sitting and, and drifting off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. know, staring where you, like Where you going? Staring at the Fresh, yeah. where you be going when yeah. you do that? Um, that was probably the only scene, the scene where him and Chucky is out there and Chucky's like, it's quiet here. Yeah. Man, I get lonesome. Yeah. <laughs> like, Chucky just Chucky is a boy too, <laughs> man. Right, 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 right. Dang. Um, okay, so Fist. Fist. How are we ranking Fresh? Real quick before I get this answer, I know yeah. I know we gotta go. Let me straight. We might end up doing this shit again because if I can get Sean Nelson here one day, yeah. Sean, if you ever watch this, bro, I would love to interview you, bro, and mm -hmm. talk about this film from mm -hmm. your point of view as a young a young actor making this film, mm -hmm. or even the, the director, yeah, brother Yakin. Find uh, he, him. He did a great job, bro. Um, so the fist I get for this film, yeah. All right, so we I know I saw some weird cuts. Mm -hmm. I saw a couple overacting uh, scenes. Mm -hmm. But overall, and there's a, there's a couple scenes that just kind of were just thrown in there. It seemed like, mm -hmm. but when it's all said and done, they were they, they were necessary. They yep. might have been abruptly put in there and yep. added. 
but they were necessary. I give this film, me mm-hmm. personally, because of how it played out, mm-hmm. it's going to, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it five, man. Yeah. Yeah. So the boy carried it. This little kid carried yeah, the film. Bro. Yeah. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. There's some technical flaws. For sure. For There's sure. Some, some, some oddities. But I've never seen a movie like it. Not that's from, since from, it's it's name. it's it is such a unique movie, such a unique story. Mm-hmm. It's so well acted. Yes, every decision makes sense. Like the scene with the with with the Abuela in the uh in the, you know was, what I mean? it started off dope. We were yeah. we thinking this is a little count. boy coming yeah. over to pick up his friend to go to school. Like my yeah. boy raised to come to my house mm-hmm. and talk to my dad. Well, I'm getting the rest to go to ready to get yeah. ready for school. Yeah. I'm thinking the girl already went to school already. He's mm-hmm. just coming to get, get her, but she already left. Yeah. No, he's he's here to do business with the grown ass woman. Mm-hmm. You're eating the cookies and milk, but hey, I need that dope too. Yeah. Yeah. I need I need five. And I what I li- what I like about it is is that in many respects there is no like great message here, mm-hmm. right? Like it's right. It's like there's not like a theme. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like you know, fathers love your kids, or no, there's none of that. There's here. no happy ending. There's no happy ending. This kid is this kid is suffering. He's yeah. suffering. At the yeah. End. Like like if you, you've got to watch fresh because it's an artistic hood movie. Yes. It's an impressionist. Yes. Hood, whatever whatever term they use to uh-huh. describe non-conventional art. Right. Right? Like you know, that's what fresh is mm-hmm. and you need to see it. It doesn't follow the 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 story arc at the at the end where like mm-hmm. the the uh the 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 winner takes all. Yeah. It's a non-traditional hood movie. Right? Mm-hmm. right? Like like it's different. This movie is different than Juice. Yes. It's different than New Jersey Drive. Right. It's different than Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. And that's all I'm going to say real, real quick. Mm-hmm. Sean Nelson that plays Fresh or uh, Trey, little Trey from Boys in the Hood. Them two little dudes were dope. Dope ass yeah. actors. I think, I don't think little Trey could have played Fresh. You don't? Okay. So, so that's, the, that's the same little kid, kid from uh, from Harlem Nights. So so here's here's why. <clears throat> because Fresh, I don't like Lil Trey, even going back to, to Harlem Nights, been mean his whole life. Uh-huh. He seen mean. Right. He act mean. Like he but don't in never Boys in the Hood, we saw a little difference. But even then he was like, bitch, I'll kick your ass. Right? Yeah. Like, you know. I'll get my brother to you in the face. Yeah, look. Mm-hmm. Kenny played the the that that kid side the way that that could Trey, fr- could the young Trey yeah. from Boys in the Hood play Fresh? Yeah. They're around the same age yeah. in these both of these films. Yeah, could could he? I think he could. You what think y'all he, think? That's a great question. Could you? Would y'all replace the two kids? Could y'all sw- swap the two kids for the two, those those two if different you roles? Put, if you put, what, uh, what's the guy that plays Fresh? Uh, Sean Nelson. If you put Sean Nelson in Boys in the Hood, it's yes. the same movie. Uh huh. 100% the same movie because uh-huh. I think he could have totally played Young Trey. If you put Young Trey in fresh, does it fundamentally change the movie? I, I don't think so. It's interesting. I, I like that kid, man. It's, I like I like, I like that kid. You know what I'm saying? I just wonder if he could do like the non-dialogue stuff. We know we know that here's here's the point that I think I'm trying to make. Uh-huh. We know that that Young Trey can play the gangster side of fresh. Right. We know he can pull that off. Uh-huh. I don't know if Young Trey could have played the other side of Fresh. Dang, you don't think so? I think so. I mean, I th- maybe it's it's an inc- that's it that's why it's such a great what if. Right. Like that's an awesome what if job because it's, it's Desi Arnaz Hines. Yes, Desi Arnaz Hines. Desi Arnaz Hines the second. Yeah. I mean, I, I I think I think I still think that that our that our guy that played Fresh would have ultimately. I think I would would enjoy his version of the movie. Oh yeah, I would. I'm not so. over them. I yeah. wouldn't switch. I, I, I don't but, need to flop them. But it is. Them. But that is it's interesting. A good, it's That's a, good a thought. great question. Um, I no, I would never. I would never switch Sean Nelson for anybody. Yeah. He, yeah. he did. He was a great Fresh. You have to see Fresh. The reason why it's it's, it's for yeah. me to finish up the why the why it's five black fists is you have to see this movie. To complete what I think is the hood movie circle. Yeah. Right? Like, mm-hmm. 
There's other hood films out there that we're going to do. There's other hood, mo- but we, the ones we've the covered core. so far, freshest ones from the you had to put in there. The and, Infinity Stones. Like if you're doing like Infinity yes, Stones yes. of hood movies, you got to have Boys in the Hood. Uh-huh. You got to have Menace to Society. Right. You got to have Juice. New Jack City. You got to have New Jack City. Mm-hmm. And Fresh is the one I believe so that you need as well. And though, so, and Fresh is probably the least favorite or the least popular. Right. I won't say the least favorite, the least popular because. For some reason, maybe it's just a push. Maybe it's the director mm-hmm. wasn't wasn't known yet. But uh, you got the guy. Movie. You got in Boucher. You yeah. got you got Carl. You got es- Mr. Br- Brother Esposito. Mm-hmm. You got actors in that film, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? So and it, I mean it. It brings you into this world. Yeah, like it's aged phenomenally. You got Samuel. You got Sam Jackson. You got Sam Jackson. This is this is a movie that you have to see. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sam was it's in New Jack so well. So, yeah. Yeah, like it, like it didn't it didn't feel, even though I know this movie is ninety four or or whatever year ninety four ninety four, man it didn't feel ninety four. Nah, it didn't it nah. like you know it didn't feel old because mm-hmm. the story is not relying upon time. Right. You know, right. or it's just it's just yeah, a, yeah you're right. It's it's just like really good characters. A really, just really awesome performance. Because this kid, Fresh, could be 13 in 2023 right now mm-hmm. in the Bronx. Yes. And, and it's every single thing. You could do it the same way. Same way. You could Basketball do it the court, same way. Basketball, fighting pit bulls. Yep. You know, heroin, cocaine, base. 100%. Everything's 100%. the same. 100%. And, 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 and. And every part of the movie works. Milky Ways. Yep. Are still cracking right now. The same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Fresh, go watch it, please. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sean Nelson. You know what I'm saying? Sam Jackson. Mm-hmm. And Boucher Wright. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Man. I loved it. I, I think this is a, a great film. And it's not, like, once again, it's not as popular as the uh, the Juices or the uh, New Jack Cities, Boys yeah. in the Hoods, yeah. Men's Society. But to me, it it, it deserves to be it deserves to be in there. A the hood classic. The little dude. He, I, he, he killed that role. Yeah, without without many lines. Without many lines, he might have had the, he might have had the least lines out of most of the people around him, and was believable, super believable. That's the whole thing yeah. is that he's believable. Mm-hmm. I'm realizing now that, that I want to change my nickname. Okay, Buster Tone Moves was dope. Yeah, it was. But now that I think about it, what's your name, man? Call me Tone E. Tone E, <laughs> yeah, not Tony. Yeah, not call Tony. Me Tone E. From here out, son, son, you call me Tone. You feel e. me, B? I'm not Tony no more. I'm call Tone me Tone E. e. And like I bust Chuck the, E. Yeah. Tone E. Like Chuck D. Tone E. And mm-hmm. I and I bust the dope moves. The bust, the bust the, the dope stupid moves. dope moves. Hey man, nigga, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up and down, son. <laughs> Hey, that's another episode of Black Busters, man. Yeah. Uh, man, thank y'all for coming, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, pause. And I appreciate y'all. We see y'all next time. Big Ja. Tone E. E with the dope moves. With the dope moves. Yes, stupid indeed. Dope moves. The stupid dope moves. <laughs> be good or be good at it. We catch y'all next time, man. Love life. To the max. Black Busters.